And coming into the year, obviously Jake was a big name that you had. You had some big names you had said a lot. Camden seems to have really elevated, I think, from from even anyone's expectations of what he could be this year. I mean, what has he done for you guys this year? Yeah, I think what Cam's done is, uh, you know, it's been sort of a three-year process. You know, he's one of the three seniors that sort of in this whole transition, um, and it was hard with COVID, it almost delayed it, you know, delayed a lot of the progress that you try to make. But, uh, you know, he's done a really good job of just sort of uh, – pouring into what we want to do it's not easy when those things occur you know when change comes and you didn't get recruited by the new coach and all that stuff and you know he's just proven that if you just sort of embrace the process and stay with it and sort of be a sponge uh you find yourself you getting you just find yourself improving you know and i think that's all you've seen with him you know is just really he's older now he's uh, played now, you know, I, I, he really didn't play that first year until February, so that didn't even count. Last year he started to play, and I think what you're saying is when that occurs and you just stay with it that way, you get to be a senior and you're, you know, he's just playing really solid. I mean, and it might not sound great or whatever, but solid means you're a good player. Solid means you go out every, you know, game after game and you're sort of the same guy game after game. You're just consistent. And I think you're starting to see that consistency in him. And it's, he sort of just knows, okay, I know who I am. I know what the team wants and the coach wants. And that's all he does. And I think when you do that over the course of your career, you know what, you, you usually find yourself maximizing sort of whatever abilities you have, you know, and that's what I think he's doing right now. He's just being really solid. It's what I've said to the seniors. I just want you guys to be that solid guys because – other guys start to come along that same way. So uh, he deserves a lot of credit for that. And obviously, uh, it's just good to see him out there when he's open, making an open shot, because that's unbelievably valuable to, to uh, our team, but any team. I notice at times, too, him and Carter, it's when, when the offense maybe isn't flowing, it's not clicking on a given possession. Carter had two nice turnarounds in the post. You have Camden hitting some shots. I mean, what do you see as the ideal balance on your offense of – going with the flow of the offense, and then maybe having a guy step up when it's like, okay, this possession was a little chippy maybe. Well, I think what happens is uh, as guys get older and they know what we're doing and they know our system, uh, the, the those things that you're talking about, they sort of happen naturally. You know what I mean? Like you're a senior and you know what you're doing and something goes wrong in a possession or whatever where you're a senior and then you go ahead and even the plays that they made were still sort of plays that you make within – our offense, you know, Carter's uh, plays were sort of came out of things where maybe it didn't look like whatever, but his pull-up jump shot was off of something that was good, and then his post moves in there. And I just think both of them, which is a, uh, is good for him. I'm 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 happy to see this. Like you know, there's a confidence. There, there's a confidence in him when they're out there. Uh, almost like what same with Carter. Like okay, I I know who I am. I'm solid. I know what the coach wants, and when I get in there, that's what I'm going to do. And you know, that's where confidence comes from you know that's almost the definition of confidence when you go about your business that way you go out on the court i'm confident uh, and then you sort of make the plays that you mentioned that those two guys made so uh, it's good to have two seniors you know who are who are doing that uh, because obviously we got a lot of young guys that seem to be growing up groups coming together uh, and i still see so much more room for improvement in that area as we keep going forward how much do you think that that confidence, that ability to know, okay, now it's my turn since it didn't work, this position this possession might be a little busted. How much do you think that that can then rub off on those younger guys when they see Camden, Carter, Nick, when they see those guys doing things like that? Well, I think the main thing is, is those things only happen because uh, our execution was really good today. Our zone execution was like unbelievable. The ball was moving around these last two games. Our man, they went to man-to-man. -man. And the first possession, man to man, we executed like you couldn't believe. Ethan did something, got the ball at the top, ran our offense perfectly, got a wide open three point shot for Carter over there, right off our offense. So, I mean, again, I think what you're talking about comes from the more you execute, the more your execution's getting better, the crisper you are, right? Then the one time that situation shows up, guys know what to do. You know what I mean? The less you execute, the more you find guys trying to do that stuff, and that's not good. You know, so I think, 
you're seeing some of that happening because our execution and our crispness has really improved over the last week. It's got to keep improving as we go through the season. But if it does, that's when you see some guys make some individual plays because the team is executing so well. Not a ton of huge dunks, but a ton of threes tonight. I mean, what's going on with your senior year right now that's really clicked? Because, I mean, it seems like every night now you're getting close and or setting a new career high. What's going so right this year? Um, biggest thing probably my teammates. They get me good good opportunities to make good shots, getting me open. Like Coach always says, if, if you're open, you got to make it. So, like today, the zone, I was zipping the ball around and found myself open. So, it's my job to make it. So, I mean, yeah, there's teammates trusting me and helping me out to try and get these humps I've had. No, no Lucas, no Nick. You know, you're missing some guys already, missing a senior, obviously, which you're already pretty short on. How much have you just really wanted to step up now, The re from now towards the rest of the year, really, just step up for this team? I mean, yeah, it's probably the biggest thing, team captain, you got to try and lead. So I'm trying to like, empower people, trying to get people up, get their energy up, get the confidence up. So I don't, it doesn't really have to step out as points, but as step out as, as a leader, trying to get everyone on the same energy, same wavelength on, in these games. You had some guys get to hit the floor with about a minute and a half left that probably won't see the floor much this year. How rewarding is it as a senior captain when it's like, okay, my performance allowed maybe some of these guys to see the floor in a game? Uh, it's super rewarding. I mean, those guys are the backbone of this team. They're the one helping us every day in practice for getting ready for these teams. Like, that's the, the scout team getting us right for these games. So to be able to have them get out on the court, step out there and play is really rewarding. To, it's fun to see. How much are you and Camden, how, how much do you guys feel like you really need to step up? And especially when the offense maybe isn't fully clicking yet, in those moments you had those two turnarounds late. I mean, how much do you guys kind of add some aggression in those moments where the offense maybe isn't clicking as much? Yeah, um, you know, it's just important to, to do what Coach says. I mean, at the end of the day, that's what he wants. And as a senior leader, he always wants us to be veterans and just be solid. That's what he always says. So. Just do what he says, because younger guys sometimes get other things in their head. They don't, you know, don't quite have the experience yet. But um, a lot of the sophomores on our team played all of last year, so they're kind of seniors in our eyes too, because they played so much. It's more like experience than it is just your your age, you know. So um, yeah, collectively, just as a group, um, I mean, me and Cam try to lead, especially when Nick's out. We try to be the leaders out there as much as we can and be vocal. But um, we got a lot of older guys on our team by by experience. Corbin coming in, it's kind of changed the look of the team a little bit, a smaller center, more maybe mobile. What's the biggest change from you and the other guards? I mean, what's the biggest change you guys are seeing now that he's in maybe instead of a Lucas or a Nick? Yeah, um, like you said, he's much more guard-like. So dribbles a little bit smoother, passes a little bit smoother, just the way it is, just the way he grew up. He probably wasn't the biggest whole life like the other two. So he's got a little, more, a little bit more guard skills, which is very important for our offense because everything runs through the center. So I mean, he gives us a different look. When Nick's back, he's going to be just as, you know, just as good as he, as he has been. Um, but Corbin's been a great, great addition, um, different look at center. Just those backdoor cuts, he can, he can make those passes. Um, he's also a great finisher on the rim. So yeah, he's been a great addition. These last two games, both wins. Not the absolute best opponents you'll see all year, but you guys didn't seem to play down to him. How comforting is that, kind of as one of the leaders who's seen this team, how comforting is that to know, okay, these guys aren't necessarily playing to the competition? Right, that's a big thing you see in college basketball is playing down to the level of your competition. So um, it's good that we came out here and took these games seriously because we needed to get back on track, we needed to get some wins and show that we knew what we were doing um, and that we can we can hang with any team we play. So, um, so yeah. Good two wins. We need to build on it now. And got Montana on, uh, I think, Sunday or Sunday. Monday. Yep. Sunday. Yep. yep.